and how beautiful and how clean and shiny it is. But it's all about to start with. When gold's mine, sure, it's kind of cool and kind of shiny, but then it gets refined. You see, refining is this process where a metal like gold or silver is put into a fire. And the fire is heated up super hot so that the impurities and the dirt and the filth can be drawn out of it. And what you're left with is this beautiful, shiny masterpiece. But refining doesn't just for the metals, it can also be within our character. God wants us to help us grow as people, to build our character, and to strengthen our relationship with Him. There are so many biblical examples of this, but my favorite is the story of Job. Now, Job was this awesome man of God, and there were so many possessions. He had thousands of oxen and sheep and donkeys. He had all this land, all these servants. He had seven sons and three daughters. According to Job 1 8, Satan chose Job to go through a particular struggle because he was blameless and upright. He feared God and turned away from evil. So one day these people come in and they take a bunch of Job's animals. The ones that they don't take die. His servants die, his kids die, and then he breaks out in swords from head to toe. Now, if this were me, I'd be like, gosh, dude, chill, okay? Like, why me? And that's what Job's wife tells Job he has the right to do. She says to Job, sweetie, be mad at God because you serve him. You love him. And he has no right to be doing this to you. But Job looks at her and says, shall we receive good from God, but not evil? So in chapters 3 to 22, Job and his friends go back and forth in this debate on why this has happened. But Job keeps telling them, yeah, guys, I know this is confusing and this is complicated, but my God is faithful and he has a reason for doing this to me. So we get to chapter 23, and in verse 10, Job says, But he knows where I am going, and when he tests me, I will come out as pure as gold. And that's what happens. Job persists. He powers through. He keeps on going, and then the Lord provides. He not only restores his fortunes, but doubles them. Job was sent through a great fire, and it's not because he was a bad person. Satan specifically chose him because he was righteous. He was blameless. He feared God. But Job grew. He was changed. He was transformed. And God still does this. You see, a couple years ago, all of a sudden, I lost one of my closest friends. The people who meant the most to me, the people I spent the most time with, the people who I defined myself by, were all gone. And I was furious with God. I was like, God, please stop. Why do I have to struggle? And that's what God revealed to me. That we cannot be refined through sitting in sermons, or listening to worship music, or doing our daily devotions. No matter how much our heart's in it, or how good those things are, that's not a challenge. And refining is a fire. It's hot. It's difficult. It's tough. We cannot be refined through our pastor's struggles, or our parents' struggles, or our friends' struggles, because that does not affect your personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Refining comes from being exposed to a difficult situation and persisting through that affliction. And now I realize that that whole time, God had such a great plan for me. He took those people out of my life because I was defining myself by them rather than defining myself by Him. He took those people out of my life and replaced them with people who challenged me and helped me grow in my relationship with God. And I couldn't be any happier about it. While we're being sent for fire, we're so confused. We're like, God, please, just, just turn it down a little bit, please. Make it just a little bit easier. But just as it is, just as it is with the metal, if it is cooler, if it is easier, there won't be change. There won't be growth. Nothing's going to happen. You're going to do the same old thing. So I'd like to challenge you guys. When metal is melted in that fire, it can be molded and shaped into any form, just as we can. But if our will is set against God's, then we cannot be moved freely. So surrender to God's will. He has such higher plans for you than what you have for yourselves. Surrender to his will and allow him to mold you and form you into his glory and what his plan.